couple months ago I got this beautiful quilted walnut piece that I've been sitting on. I finally got a chance to resaw it up and I made one of my new construction tellies with walnut. I've got a walnut block here, here and here and I've got two supports running through here. What I've learned over time as guys have been using these is that I wasn't running the grain the same way here. I was running it, uh, butting it up and over time the changes in humidity and temperature would split these every once in a while. So now I've got all the grain running the same way and I'm thinking I'll get much better results. But this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilted walnut piece. I'm going to finish it today in true oil. True oil is one of my favorite finishing products. Used it on hundreds of guitars. Real easy to apply, easy to find, easy to get. Get it at Walmart or Amazon. You essentially just need a basic cloth, old t-shirt, whatever, and you can rub it on. This has been sanded down to 600. What I'm going to do is apply a coat real thick, let it dry, and then come back and wet sand it and get it smooth and show you how I get this nice and perfect. And we're just going to put it on nice and thick. And after I sanded this to 600, I didn't wipe off any of the dust. What I want to use is the dust to help fill the grain and get a nice mirror smooth. Usually the first application of true oil goes in really thick, it really soaks into the wood. So what I'll do is just lay it on as thick as I can, let it sit for 24 hours, let it dry, and come back with another coat. This is just brown, dark walnut. Other piece I did was Claro, but this is just regular walnut that's quilted, which is very, very rare to see. So the front and back are quilted. My grandfather would love this guitar. He loved walnut. You can already see how beautiful the figuring is on this guitar body. Coloring isn't exactly the same top to side. And I'm okay with that, but at least it's the same. Originally when I was working on this I had poplar sides and I was going to stain them brown. That looked horrible. So at least now I got the same wood. So we're not doing anything on the back, we're going to leave it. I'm just going to put one coat on the sides and on the top. The top is really soaking up this stuff. What I'm doing is I'm squeezing the oil out of the rag, letting it soak in.
first coat on the top come back and rub down the sides here Just wipe off any of the leftover here. It really is a beautiful piece of wood. And it's really soaking up the oil too. Probably going to need about four to six coats. Thinking at least five or six for sure. All right, so we'll let that sit. We'll come back in about 24 hours once it's dry and apply another coat. Alright, so this is one coat on the front and the back, and I maybe would say two coats on the side, and you can see it's slowly starting to build on the side here, but it definitely needs a couple more coats on the top and the back, but the grain is now sealed, it'll start to build coats, so we'll go ahead and put one more coat on now. What's interesting is that you apply the second coat, you can already see it significantly glossier than that first coat so I can I know it's building still soaking in but I also know a lot of the pores are starting to fill much quicker putting that second coat on. You can see it's all got sort of an even sheen. Don't really need to do anything with this one. Just wipe this on the sides. And it really builds on the sides. So this is about the third coat on the sides.
So we just take what's ever on the body and work it in. And we'll just leave it. What I like to do is hold the rag as big as I can, sort of open wide, and just work in the true oil and whatever lines are there will just fade into the body as it's absorbing the oil. You don't want to sort of do this, it leaves much harder lines. If you do that, you can get it to just sort of fade in. All right, there we go. There's two coats of troil on the top. All right, here's the back side then. All right, next up we're actually gonna sand. Wet sand with troil. I've got some 600 grit sandpaper and this has been sitting for about three days with two coats. It's all nice and dry, nice and hard. It's got a little bit of fuzz on it. So what I'm gonna do is sand with true oil. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help fill some of the pores and get it to really smooth glass surface. So we're gonna start on the back here. We're just gonna do the back first. We're just gonna work this in. Depending how much you sand, really kind of determines how much grain you're going to fill. Definitely not looking to fill all of it. I just want it to even out, seal the pores a little better. The trick is to just sort of go back and forth across the body so that you know you, you've got all the spots. 
I know at times I'm a little bit inconsistent doing that.
So it's a little bit swirly here, but we're going to leave that. We're going to let this sit. What I really want to do is let the grain fill in. So I know I've got a lot of material on here. What I'm going to do is let this sit, and then I'll come back and hit it one more time and make sure I get it nice and even. All right, so we're going to sand the second coat here. First coat actually dried really nice, just a bit of fuzz, but it really sealed in the pores. I know you can't see that in this, but looking at the body, significantly smoother than before. So I got a sanding pad to sort of help a little bit. Again, this is 600 grit. So I'm going to add a little bit of more true oil, let this soak in and I'll be done sanding. So I used a lot of true oil here, but it's just going to soak in and as I'm rubbing this in, I'm getting some of those streaks out. I probably will only need to do one light coat after this and I'll be done with the back. I can buff it. I can already see the pores are really filled out nicely. We're just working this in. Now we'll be pretty much done with the back. Let's follow the same process here for the top. Put on some true oil. Got my 600 grit sandpaper. Alright, so here's the last bit of sanding with the true oil. Again, doing this is really filled in the grain.
All right, so we're going to put one more coat of True Oil on after we sanded. This is going to be a light coat, real easy to go on, and we're just going to leave it. You can see the coat is already pretty shiny. Now that we've filled in all the pores, this looks really good. Trick with these last coats are to make sure you get it even all over the body. You don't miss any spots. Because after this, we're going to buff this. And that's it. You just let it sit one real light coat. You can see it looks pretty even going across. A couple spots just going to touch up. But I got one coat fully applied. We'll let just this dry. Put one last coat on the back and buff this out. Backside, same methodology. Let me get a new rag. Again, big wide strokes here. The wood is not going to soak up as much dye or as much true oil at this point. So, just to make sure you get one last even coat before you buff. That's it. We'll let this sit. Looks like I got everything. We'll let this dry for a couple days actually, and we'll take it to a buffer and buff it out. Alright, so finishing up the walnut guitar body here, what we want to do is grab some turtle wax rubbing compound a couple of buffs and some turtle wax car wax and we're just gonna get this buffed up looking good I've got my Makita here the easiest way to do this is just apply some of the compound onto the top What this is going to do is get any of the fine swirl marks out from that last coat. And I'll leave this top looking spectacular. We'll get my buff. put it in the drill bit here and we're just going to go back and forth and buff this out. I bought these at Ace Hardware for seven, eight bucks, something like that. You don't need all this heavy duty equipment to do this right sometimes.
So that's the rubbing compound. We'll go ahead, load up this other buff. Wipe off anything that's left. We'll get the wax. So we'll get a cloth here and just work off the wax. And that's about it. I already did that to the front side here. That's why I was moving around so much when I was doing it earlier. But that is a beautiful finished guitar with just true oil. Use the true oil to fill the grain, use a little bit of wax to polish it off. It looks like it's been sprayed on. Amazing looking back, amazing front. This is a beautiful quilted walnut guitar. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next vid.